Hi, I'm Sean Warren with SeanWarrenFineArt.com and today I'd like to show you my Vermeer painting and talk to you a little bit about the artist. Hi, thanks for joining me today. I wanted to show you my Vermeer painting. I did a reproduction of Girl the Pearl Earring and it's going in a gallery show tomorrow, so I wanted to show it to you and just talk to you a little bit about Vermeer. I really wanted to reproduce one of the masters and kind of try to use their same materials and find somebody that I really identified with. And so I chose Vermeer. I've always liked Vermeer because I like um, what he does with light. I really like the way that he's got, like, his, his paintings just glow. And there are a lot of things that uh, really intrigued me about him. First of all, he was a very slow painter. He only had, he only sold about 45 paintings or painted 45 paintings that we know of during his entire career. And he had just one patron that we know of that entire time. And he just, he painted really slowly. And I also paint really slowly. In case you wondered why I never put time-lapse speed painting videos on my YouTube channel, it's because I don't paint fast. Even if we sped it up, it takes me sometimes weeks to, or months even, to uh, finish an oil painting. So I'm a very slow painter, just like Vermeer. One of the other things that um, intrigued me about him is that he was reputed to have used what was called a camera obscura. So he had some type of a photographic device. He was um, a 17th century painter, so this was before photography was even invented so you know it's not it, it's not unusual that an artist even way farther back than that would use some kind of a device a photographic device to transfer their image onto the canvas um, it's not really known what kind of device he used there is a movie that you can get off of Amazon though it's called Tim's Vermeer and it's amazing um, this man named Tim is not an artist he has no artist you know, no artistic training whatsoever. And he's a wealthy man, and so he was able to take about a year off, I think it took him about a year, to reproduce a Vermeer painting. And he, he studied and, and did all kinds of research on the technique that Vermeer might have used. He actually reproduced his studio. He reproduced in the corner of the studio, you know, the scene, um, everything from I mean, it's amazing the detail that he went into. So, of course, I'm not going to go into that type of detail for this painting, and this painting is not nearly as intricate as the painting that, um, that Tim did. But if you want to ever watch that, it's amazing. You do have to pay for it. I think it's like $4 to rent it out off Amazon, but it's really an incredible, incredible thing. And, and he rep reproduced a beautiful painting. It came out perfect. But my point in, this, in that is that he reproduced the kind of... Um, camera obscura that he thought Vermeer could have used. So I used my projector. So I projected the image onto the canvas and this is done on canvas board. It's done on canvas co covered canvas board and I do have um, a video that explains how I do that. So this is actually the second one. Um, I also have a video talking about overcoming failure. So the first one I did was a failure. I did it on um, hard board that was sprayed with Rust-Oleum and there was no canvas on it. And it was a wonderful surface to work on. It had like an eggshell surface on it, but it, it attracted dirt. I don't know why. For some reason, it just attracted dirt and dog hair and everything. So I was not able to use that one. I scrapped that one before I got too far. So this is my second attempt at it. And I'm pretty pleased with it. One of the other things that, um, that I liked about Vermeer was that he was real. He had 15 children and he lived with his mother-in-law. So you can imagine there was reported to be a lot of um, dysfunctionality and just a lot of commotion and you can imagine with that many kids in your house with your mother-in-law. Um, it was reported that he would lock himself in his studio and paint and that was kind of how he got away from it all. Um, in that regard, I'm maybe have something in common with Vermeer. I don't have that many kids. I only have one grown child and a husband. But I do have three cats and a dog. And sometimes they can make just as much racket and commotion, I think, as 15 kids. 
He was also an art dealer and an innkeeper, so he was a very busy guy. He would lock himself into his second floor studio and he would paint. And most of his paintings are done, if you look at them, they're done in the same corner of the studio and you can see the same windows in many of his paintings. So there's also a book and a movie called The Girl with the Pearl Earring and it's real interesting um, to watch if you're interested in that. This is known as the Dutch Mona Lisa. It's, it's just as popular as, and famous as the Mona Lisa is. Although in Vermeer's lifetime, he wasn't a very famous painter. It wasn't until um, till years later that he was even discovered. And a lot of his paintings uh, were not attributed him, to him at first. Um, it was later discovered that they were actually his paintings though. So um, this is my Vermeer. So I wanted to let you know when my gallery show would, would be. The Arapahoe Community College Gallery of the Arts. And it's in Annex 1300. Um, the show runs from Friday, May 27th to Monday, June 27th. Um, the opening reception is Thursday, May 26th from 5 to 7, and I will be there with my artwork, and I'd love to meet you. If you're local to Denver, I would love to meet you and talk to you about my artwork. So I just wanted to share, um, share one of my pieces of art before it goes off to the gallery, and maybe I'll sell it. I don't know. We'll see. So we'll talk to you later, and thanks for visiting.